Hey Internet, for this video I'm going to show how to install the Android SDK tools only. This may be useful to some that want to have the platform tools command window to enter fast boot commands on their Android device for rooting, flashing, or unlocking the bootloader without having to install the entire Android SDK package. Please read up on fast boot and ADB commands before starting this video, as I will only go through the install and opening of the command window i.e. you should already have a good idea with what you're trying to accomplish with Android SDK tools and not just randomly watching this video and installing it just because. Okay, first go to the Android developer website. The link will be in the description. We will be getting the Android SDK tools only, so click other download options. Since I am on Windows 8, I'll download the Windows version. Get the zip file, as it will be easier to know the platform tools install location. Click I agree and download the file. Save the file in your chosen folder. Let the download finish. Open the file's location. Extract the Android SDK file using WinRAR or whatever zip extracting program you have. Okay, go into the extracted folder. Android SDK Windows. Double click SDK Manager Executable File. Give it a little time to open the installer. Check mark Android SDK Platform Tools and Build Tools. They should be already checked by default. Click Install Packages. Click Accept License. Install. The install takes about an hour, possibly longer, depending on your download speed. Okay, once the install is done, close the Android SDK Manager. Go to the newly created Platform Tools folder. Hold shift and right click in the folder, then click open command window. Okay, at this point you can enter fast boot commands directly to your Android device if USB debugging is enabled or you are in fast boot mode. If USB debugging is not enabled on your device, enable it. To enable USB debugging, go to apps, settings, About Phone, tap Build Number until you see Developer Options enabled, go back, Developer Options, enable USB Debugging. Enabling USB debugging is the same for most Android devices made past 2014. So although the screen will look different on your device, it's the same method. Okay, at this point, depending on what you need to do with Android SDK tools, the video guide ends here. Continue on with your original task, whether it's rooting, flashing recovery, unlocking the bootloader, or whatever it is. Here's a short list of commands that can be entered in the command window. Depending on your Android device, some of these commands may not work. And that's it. 
hopefully this video helped in whatever it is you're trying to do with your Android device. Thanks for watching.